I'll push this back just in case because I only got one shot for this video. I hope that's good. Um, I'm sending it, but... All right. Um, welcome to what's going to be my second most expensive video. First one being my wreck. Cost me... Well, it didn't cost me, but it did cost over 100000 for insurance. Um, so this one is a lot different than any of my other videos because I'm inside. Um, <clears throat> you might be wondering what I'm doing. I've been watching a lot of Whistling Diesel recently. If you know anything about him, uh, he destroys a lot of stuff. And I like that. I like watching stuff break. So... When my TV went bad, I thought, perfect. I have an excuse to destroy something. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a helmet inside, that's because, one, I still haven't done a face reveal, and I don't plan on it for quite some time. And two, I have my mic in my helmet, so that way you can like clearly hear what I'm saying. Because um, if I recorded this on my phone, it might look better, and I'd be able to tell what I'm actually looking at, but you wouldn't really be able to hear me. So I'm using the GoPro and my phone mic to record. But anyways, today we're going to be testing my Alpine Star riding gloves that I always wear in my videos against a 55-inch Roku Smart TV. I'm... Not looking forward to the cleanup. Man, it's going to be a huge mess. But I do like punching stuff. So I think I'm going to do is just give it a good old, you know, one of those. Maybe. Could I do like a a hook, uppercut, just full blown. All right, I'll stop delaying the video and just get to it. Oh, tricked ya. You fell for no, I'm just kidding. But like, I'm also afraid it's gonna fly off. But let's see what happens. I'm a little nervous to do this, not gonna lie, but. Test number one. Huh. Interesting. I got the screen is coming off. Here, I'm going to turn on another light. I don't know if that made a difference at all. But nice. I'm gonna set the camera back. My visor's getting all foggy from breathing, but bah! oh So it's nice it's not like shattering and going everywhere, because that's gonna make excuse me. That's gonna make excuse me. It's going to make the cleanup. Excuse me. It's going to make the cleanup much easier. I'm just going to throw this in the dumpster after. But like, oh shit. I was wrong. Oh man. Oh well. But yeah, so like say someone cuts you off, happens all the time. And just give them good old right to the mirror. And I can't feel anything with these gloves, so they're definitely good. You're in the frame again. Okay. Cow frame. They're definitely going to be good for punching things. Not that I would condone that ever. But these uh, these will definitely do the job. 
I don't really feel anything. You can just give it a good old, oh. Yeah, definitely. Definitely good punching gloves. Uh, these knuckles here, very strong. Doing a great job. This is the damage. That's cool. So in case you're wondering what the inside of a TV looks like. There you go. Like I said, didn't feel anything. I'll do another little. Hmm, it's going to be hard. Can't really do it while holding the GoPro because the TV's going to fly off, but maybe one from here. Not bad. I'm going to take my glove off real quick and I'll check for any damage. I had nothing. Nothing. These gloves work great. Definitely recommend them. Again, these are Alpine Stars. Not sure exactly what kind. But we got nice carbon fiber knuckles. Very good. They've lasted me for a while. They're very protective, as you can see. But yeah, that was my little durability strength test of the gloves. TV's now completely fucked. That's fine. Not really, but whatever. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And next video, not probably going to be anything like this.